Hey, my good friends, Sam Hamar with Test Driven TV. We recently got the chance to spend a week with the 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. Got some new styling tweaks, but most important, an all new engine under the hood. So we're gonna take a tour outlining all the technical features as well as the maintenance service points. The 2024 Volkswagen Atlas and Atlas Cross Sport come with one sole engine starting this year replacing the previous generation 2 liter 4 and the 3.6 liter V6. Here is a significantly redesigned Evo 4 E888 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder with an 8 speed automatic transmission. It produces 269 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque on regular and leaded fuel. For those doing the math, that's an increase of 34 horsepower and 15 pound feet of torque over the previous generation 2 liter engine. The engine features a cast iron block and aluminum head, a very rare combination these days. Chain driven dual overhead cams both feature variable timing and variable valve lift is on the exhaust side. A balance shaft helps to produce refinement and smoothness. Direct fuel injection pressure for this year is increased on the new engine to 350 bar or 5076 psi. That's a lot. It has a relatively high compression ratio too for a turbocharged engine at 9.6 to 1. Maximum boost pressure from a single scroll turbocharger is 20.1 psi. Its boost pressure is controlled via an electronically controlled wastegate and the aforementioned variable lift exhaust valves. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top of the radiator and travels directly into a relatively large air filter box at the front driver side of the engine bay. From there, it travels back through a tube and around the rear of the engine and into the turbocharger. From there, it travels up to the front to an air-to-air -air intercooler mounted down low and then back up to a composite plastic intake manifold at the front of the engine. Atop the engine, you can see all four of its spark plug coil packs and they're easily accessible. Much of the direct fuel injection system is hidden from view, but you can see the electric actuators for its variable exhaust valves at the top of the valve cover. Once the combustion process is complete, gases exit the cylinders through an exhaust manifold molded into the head and into the turbocharger at the rear. Servicing the 2-liter engine is relatively straightforward, though there are a few differences to point out. The sound cover doesn't need to be removed for most of these procedures. First, the engine coolant can be found at the passenger side of the engine bay. The oil filler cap is at the top of the engine toward the passenger side. The oil dipstick isn't the most visible in the world because it's not colored, but it is located at the front corner of the valve cover, just ahead of the oil filler cap. The oil filter, though, is nicely located at the top in front of the engine, a huge bonus. Brake fluid is located at the rear of the engine bay at the driver's side firewall. Just ahead of it is a sizable 12 volt battery. To its right, you'll find the engine computer, and to its side, the main fuse box at the far right. The air filter box is easily accessed for a change, but you will need a Torx bit tool to open it up. Just ahead of it is the blue cap for the windshield washer fluid reservoir. Looking ahead from behind, you can see the radiator features dual electric fans. Always be mindful to watch your hand around these things as they can start up even if the engine is turned off after driving. Well, there you go, my friends, the Atlas Cross Sport under the hood tour. And of course, the regular Atlas three row will be identical under the hood. They both share the same engine and everything under that hood is exactly the same. Now we do have a test drive on the Atlas Cross Sport. It made our right buy list nonetheless. You can see that right there. You can also subscribe to TDTV Garage right there if you're into this nuts and bolts stuff.